So this is my PC and this is the new case, which has a small problem. I don't really like that red color, so let's fix it by painting it black. I'm gonna spray wrap the chassis using a purple paint. To paint it, I applied as much coats as possible, always making sure it was dry before going for a new one. And after some time, I have the parts ready. This is a bit weird, but I will now build my PC case. Let's disconnect all the cables from my PC and place it on the other desk. In this moment, I was thinking if this was going to be worth it. But I kept moving forward and I started disassembling the GPU. Now I went to the back of my PC and I disconnected all the cables I could. This way, I can remove all the parts easily. I removed the rear fan and then the vertical GPU mount. As the old fans are joined together, it was quite easy to remove the three radiator fans. I'm going to use the same AIO in the new PC build, so I only screwed it from the old PC case. On the motherboard, I will first disconnect all the cables. After that, I need to remove all the motherboard screws. Finally, I can pull it out of the old case. I won't reuse any other parts, so it's time to say goodbye to this PC case. So let's start building the PC on the new case, which as you can see, we won't be running out of space anymore. I started screwing the motherboard into the case and then I plug in the 24 pin RGB cable. For this build, I will be using these new Li and Li fans which have better specs than the old ones I had. And as always, they are super easy to install. I screwed this into the radiator. Now I will attach the radiator into the case. By the way, I'm not sure if I will have problems in the future, as the pump could get some air. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will also add another set of Lian Li fans as intake. I will place them here in the front of the case. I think this is starting to look good. Here I have my new beast to power my PC. It's a 1200 watts platinum modular PSU from FSP, which has the 16 pin cable for the new GPUs. So in case I want to upgrade to a 40 series GPU, or even 50, I will be able to have a good PSU to handle it and also with this new PC case I have room for it. As you can see, I plugged all the cables, only the ones I need, and now let's install it carefully and attach it with 4 screws at the back. Let's do a bit of cable management and install my GPU back, which is the RTX 360 Ti. I will also plug the RGB cables from Lian Li to my GPU, although they won't work as I only have one 9-pin port in my mobile. In the next video, I will show you how to solve this and we will also be doing some upgrades to my PC. Now, let's see the final result.